back out again first dig since uh, we come back from Anglesey a great time we had up there we've come back to the uh, the paddocks fields uh, I've got this half here still to do with the CTX we've done all of it with the, the dais we've got a few bits and pieces out we've done the, the right hand side with the CTX now we're doing the, the left hand side uh, probably about three four hours I'll have in here a little mini dig uh, we never know we've had roaming out of here we've had other bits and pieces as well so prolific in finds but some nice quality stuff been coming out and that double denarius was uh, a nice find so we'll uh, get on with the hunt out with the CTX as you can see in the 11 inch coil well guys first find uh, for about 8 inches down we got a pewter button oh, it's got a little pattern on it as well like a little circle pattern that's a nice one makes a change from the plain ones oh we're off and running now well, we've gone three quarters of an hour and this is only the, uh, the second signal we've actually had a keeper. It's a little four hole button. So there's uh, lots and lots of silver paper and iron in here so I'm having to go really slow. Whoa, that had me going for a bit. I just saw it at the bottom of the hole, all that sparkly gold. And it's a big dandy button, gold plated. <laughs> oh, you can see the, the shank on the back where it's broke off. but. Oh, my heart was going when I saw that at the bottom of the hole, only about four or five inches down. Oh well, well uh, hopefully we'll uh, find something in a bit. Well we have a medieval jug handle here. Medieval jug handle. You can oh, see wow. the, the green glaze on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lovely find that. Right. Well guys, the landowner, we've just been discussing about that uh, handle. The medieval one. I just walked over to the, the patch where we found that and uh, there's even more roof tile and some clay pipe as well. well there's obviously been a building around this area so this is where the area where I found the Roman ring and the, the Roman double denarius so uh, I might be coming back in this little patch. He's deep ploughed it to about 12 inches down and all this stuff's come up so obviously something under here. Well guys you see a little green mark there so I knew there was something in the hole and just down the bottom there we've got a our first coin by the looks of things. Looks like a penny. Freak him out. Uh, looks like a, a George three penny. Or Hatney probably. Yeah, it's a, a Hatney. I keep forgetting the, the George ones are a lot bigger. Yeah, it's a, one of the first coin in the afternoon. I've been going two hours now. So uh, it's hopefully it's a, a few silvers kicking about somewhere. Well guys, good banging signal from about 7 inches down. It's one of the, the rarer banging signals I've had today. And lots of silver paper and lots of foil and things. Also as I found out where the 1960s, the landowner's dad's caravan burned down. <laughs> I did find lots of uh, molten aluminium. I don't know what that was all from. Oh, we have a bit of silver. By the looks of things. Ah, about time too. Or is it stainless steel? <laughs> like a little brooch of some sort. Yeah, it feels like silver. Let's bring that a bit closer for you. Pattern on there looks like a little brooch. Could be stainless, but I'm sneaky suspicion that's a bit of silver. Woohoo! Get in! Yeah, you just see a little marks there, so 
the glass with me so I can't see if it's silver or if it's uh, made in China. Well, uh, get that cleaned up for the review. So I'm uh, just coming to the last of the, the runs in the ridge and furrow paddock and then we'll be going into the cultivated area later on because it's been deep ploughed since it was last year so that's where I've been getting all the pottery as well when I was going for a bit of lunch. So, uh, woohoo! We're getting there. There we go, another deep hairy by the looks of things. That one's all uh, cruddied away again. Just on the uh, the loop back to the car around the edge of the field and just got this in the bottom corner. Old hairy, probably Victoria, somewhere around that age. Might get something off it. But uh, yeah, we're on our way back home. Well, things are very, very sparse, so I've done a good job. So I'm just, uh, just covering over the area I did with the dais and uh, CTX has had a, a few bits and pieces down very very deep. This one's come from about 10 inches down, it's a harness ring. I've got about another, another hour to go and uh, I don't know if we'll get much more uh, but it's been a pleasure with a little hunt. It's just always nice to cover an area where you've had some nice stuff with one machine and trying it with another. So we'll keep going and I'll catch up with you guys in the review if nothing else turns up. Just say goodbye to my uh, detecting partner until the next time. Hamish, he's a lovely old horse. It's a shame he's uh, partially blind, but he does come up to you and nuzzles you up to you. He, know, he knows you're here, so I'm quite friendly now since I've been here in a few times. So that's it for today. Got the bit that I wanted to do done. Got a few bits and pieces. Nothing fantastic. A little bit of silver. But we'll uh, catch up with you guys now at the review. I'm off for a bite to eat. Cheers, guys. Hi guys, welcome to the review of that little mini hunt we've just done in the, the paddock field. I couldn't quite get into the area totally because the wildflowers and everything were still up there and the, the Hamish the horse doesn't seem to want to eat those so I'll have to leave that for the winter when it's all died back but overall the hunt was a interesting one, that's all we can really say. We didn't really get that much, uh, like I said I've done it now both ways at 90 degrees as well with two machines now so there's there's not a lot left in there. But one thing we did get is a couple of coins, a little bit of a buckle, harness ring, a few buttons, and this dandy button. When I saw the gold glinted in the bottom of the hole, I thought it was a big one of those big gold crowns. But no, big dandy button. And I've got a little um, silver brooch. I think that could be sort of like 70s, 80s. I don't think it's that old. But the landowner's daughter's got her eye on that. So I'll get that cleaned up and see if I can put a rip repair the in some way to so she can wear it might even make it into a little pendant so overall difficult hunt because the uh, all the melted aluminium from one of the outbuildings built down back in the 60s seemingly and uh, i just hit on the patch of that just piece of a piece of aluminium and bits of scrap that melted so eventually i gave up there's not no point in searching that just a mass of signals so we uh had a look in the garden and go you saw the pottery we've been pulling out, and I think we're definitely going back in there. The landowner's kindly ploughed that 12 inches deep with his little mini plough for me. So half of it's been done, and once all the, the crops are out, I'll get the other half done. I bet there's some good stuff in there still. That's why we've got the, the Roman ring and the Antoninius uh, a few months back. So, overall, little mini hunt. We'll get another mini hunt done in the rest of the garden next trip out, probably. So it's your pal, well. Happy hunting to you all. It's been a pleasure talking to you all again. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.